A couple months ago, I embarked on this search to find the perfect chasing frame. Um, I wanted a certain set of features that I could not find in existing frames on the market. Uh, and I actually started to approach a few people about potentially even designing something uh, for myself out of the box. And uh, towards the end of that search, I reached out to Gab707, who is an amazing uh, pilot for chasing, for freestyle, for racing, for mountainscape and he pointed me to Andy Shen from Shen Drones who kind of in confidence said hey I've got this frame coming out shortly that pretty much meets all your requirements that frame is the Ichabod and I want to tell you all about it the features that this frame would offer were as follows I wanted it to be six inch I wanted to eventually be able to fly large five cell batteries um, I wanted it to be extremely rigid, meaning that there's no vibrations in, introduced from the frame itself. Uh, and I wanted to be able to have a variable GoPro tilt, and I wanted to have the, in, the, the tilt of the FPV camera be independent of the tilt of the GoPro. Um, so in this way, the GoPro... Oh, the other thing is it has to support the GoPro Hero 6, which is an amazing camera for a number of different reasons. I'm going to probably get into that in another video. Um, but so all of those, that combination of things came together to make it really hard to find the right thing. Like, for example, most frames aim at supporting the GoPro session, which is fine, but uh, sometimes they they wouldn't be able to support variable angle or some would support only the GoPro session with some variable angle. So eventually, um, so so when I you know was looking for all these things, I would find like everything but one part. And the only frame that had it all that could put it all together was the Shendron's Ichabod. So I'm just gonna walk through how this frame meets all of those features. First of all, GoPro Hero 6. Clearly it's a nice big 3D printed mount out front that fits that camera. This whole thing, this whole apparatus tilts up and down, so you can get the, the GoPro pointing in any direction that you want. But within that mount, you can still change the angle of the FPV camera. So for example, I can actually have a slightly negative GoPro tilt, but still have my FPV camera at at least a you know, 30, 40 degree angle tilt. So for example, if I'm chasing a mountain biker down a mountain, I can still have, you know, I'm tilting forward, but I'm also looking fairly down with the GoPro, but I'm also looking up with the FPV camera, so I'm still flying in forward flight like I'm used to with a drone. So that combination of things out there is pretty awesome. Now, one of the things that is obvious about this is that it's not gonna be the most durable thing in the world, right? There's this little, mm, phallus <laughs> sticking out front that you know those that's just carbon and you know if you hit that pretty great it's gonna be pretty serious but keep in mind that this is not a freestyle quad this is a chase quad it's something very different and for very different purposes and so just keep in mind that you know there's there's differences here on purpose now the next thing um is that there are these eight millimeter arms. Look at these things, they're monstrous. Have you ever seen an arm quite that big? And what that does is it reduces any kind of twist in it. So if I'm flying it, if I'm trying to torque it this way, there is no torque induced in that direction. Whereas if you pick up any of your other quads and do it, you know, you're gonna notice that that torquing just a little bit, it's gonna twist. And having this, the, like the skinny arms in there, it, it also helps reduce drag from airflow, and it's gonna have a much nicer profile moving through the through the air, but not sacrificing rigidity, which is important. And on the motor mounts, you'll actually see that the carbon in here is actually like cut out. Um, so it's actually, you know, it supports the standard screw size, um, and that's pretty freaking cool. You've got your flight controller and PDB stack in here. Um, there's a there's SMA for antennas. There's actually two holes, so you could do like a um, a TBS Crossfire antenna there, and your VTX antenna here, um, which you know is whatever. I put my uh, XT60 here. There's two battery straps across the back. Um, this is designed for a pretty big um, 1800 milliamp five cell. These are the DRL batteries the DRL Racer 3 batteries, which I think you can get a hold of now if you want to. Um, and so that just sutures on right there. But I mean, you can fly any battery on it you want and it will fit. 
yeah, other than that, nothing is uh, super duper special here. It's really designed for um, foreign ones, uh, but obviously I didn't choose to use that because I had some individual ESCs I preferred to use. That would probably be a little bit sexier of a build if I had used that. So that's the Ichabod. While I've been going through this round of like film festivals with the flight of the year, I've had a chance to talk to a number of different directors. And my goal, my personal goal for 2018, is to get a mini quad shot of some sort into a feature film. I know that's really, really broad, painting with broad strokes, but you know that's that's what my goal is. I think that there's potential here with this platform. I think we have some exciting stuff going on, and that's that's my goal for 2018. It's how do I take this tool and put it in front of a wide audience and show them what these things are capable of. That being said, every time I've talked to a direct that being said, every time I've talked to a director or someone and they see mini quad footage and they see the props, they're like, can we do that without the props? So a big important feature of the Ichabod is that the props are not in view at any point. You can point the camera straight down and there will never be props in view. And so that was a, a big requirement that also had to be met. I just wanted to give a quick overview on the parts that I have here in, in my Ichabod. Uh, up here in the front is a Runcam Swift 2 with the OSD on it. Um, this is a full size. TBS Unify, we've got a Omnibus F3 flight controller, which has, you know, OSD and all of that. Um, then it runs back to an antenna here. Right now I've got an IC2 on it because that's one of my nicer looking antennas for the video. Uh, I usually run a Fox here or a TBS Triumph. Um, for ESCs, I've got um, RG20 Plus. They're just strapped to the side of the quad, which, you know, isn't the greatest thing in the world, but it, it's effective. It gets the job done. Uh, the motors are T-Motor um, F40 Pro V2 1600 kV motors. And when I'm running a 1800 milliamp five cell battery, these things give plenty of power and are extremely efficient, especially with HQ six by three by three props or HQ 6045 bull nose. Um, there's a power distribution board in there. It's the, the ready to fly quads one that I always use um, and an XT60 for it. Uh, <coughs> down kind of in the side, it's gonna be really hard to see, actually impossible to see, I'm not gonna bother, but right there is a TBS micro crossfire receiver and this is a TBS um, Immortal T antenna, which, you know, again, not probably the most efficient uh, placement for the antenna, but it gets the job done and I'm not really shooting for super long range with this It's just that is what I use on my non racing quads is the TBS crossfire. So Yeah So I think that's it for the Ichabod, you know, there's a, a lot of different things going on Some of them are a little bit theoretical. Some of them are a lot more solid um, I've only had the frame for like three four weeks now But I've been flying it as much as I possibly can because I am extremely thrilled with the footage that I've been getting out of it <clears throat> Now, I know that frame's a frame and it all comes down to electronics and powertrain and stuff, but for the features that I needed for the certain kind of filming that I'm trying to do, I'm super pumped. So if you're interested in chasing and um, keeping your props out of view and those angle, uh, like GoPro and camera angle and all of that, <clears throat> Highly recommend going and checking out the Shen Drones Ichabod uh, from their website uh, and enjoy some uh, footage that I've been capturing with the Ichabod over the last you know, couple weeks. Thanks for listening. Stay flying.